Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. Now we have had, these are timeless, but we have had some pretty heavy hitting messages coming up. It's definitely a call to um, sort of amp up our practice, amp up our awareness. So if you want to get a personal reading with me, go to angelsouls444.com. Especially during these times, I'm trying to really get <laughs> those back to you quickly. Um, but it all just depends on how many people come in ahead of you. And of course, you know, what videos I'm trying to record that week. So I do ask for your patience, but if you do sign up, chances are pretty good. You'll get it. Hopefully like, you know, I can't guarantee it cause I never know, but, um, as quickly as possible. Okay. So please don't do the thing where you put in your reading request and then you're emailing me constantly asking where it is. That's just taking me away from the work and it's just going to delay everything. I'm one person. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Also check me out for lives. I have lots of them coming up. Uh, always check the description box for the latest. All right. Our card for today is all is well. It's Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah has been coming up quite a bit. Make sure you watch the weekly. It's a little bit of a long video, but you know, you can go into your watch history and continue watching it. If you need to make sure that one gets shared. It's very important. But Jeremiah keeps coming up because he's all about life review. He's about opening our eyes to what's going on and not just burying our head in the sand. Okay. To know how to move forward based on what we've already been through. And it says everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings. You will soon understand. Again, the thing that stands out to me is the all is well. So as we see things occurring, as we're hearing, news. We're, we're knowing how things are being presented to us, how things are being twisted. It's, you know, it's one thing to be discerning. It's a whole other thing to be paranoid and to be, and, and I'm sorry, that's what some people, I, I'm all for fact finders. I'm not going to follow or listen to somebody who just loves the drama of something. And so they're going to go into every situation, and try to figure out why it's bad so they can have a hot take on it not doing that. We don't have room for that. Okay. We don't, and, and you're going to, you're going to learn, <laughs> you're going to learn. I would also put out, um, the caution to people who are doing underhanded things. Like maybe you're somebody who's always trying to diminish someone else or paint them in a bad light. That's going to come slamming you. It's going to come slamming you because we need to get into a better place collectively. And if you're partaking in the separation, you're, you're going to pay a price for that. So have a good day. <laughs> We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you love. Bye. <laughs>